Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am streaming some Starmancer. Now we're going to go ahead and start a new colony. Enter my name, select my core. I want to do something a little bit different this time. Previously, I went with the red, and the red does look pretty dang good. And I'm thinking like some kind of blue, or even white. Oh, that looks nice. All right, so what would be a good design here? Let's have a look. I kind of like that, the round. Could do white on white, see how that goes, or we could make it blue. We'll go with the white. Use the star. What is our station's name? Let's go with... Let's go with... Angel. Angel Station. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. This isn't good. Not good at all. We crashed in an uncharted system. The warp drive and memory banks are unresponsive. We have to get back to the fleet before our supplies run out. So, I have played this before and I've learned a bit since I last played. And I'm hoping to employ that knowledge into this fresh game. So the story elements I'm going to kind of ignore as we get started here. I won't be reading all of it. But, uh... We will need to wake up the colonists. Or we're gonna have to grow a colonist. Not really waking them up is more of growing them. So... Let's take a look here. I messed up the last time when picking my first colony members. Because I had someone that refused to pick up dead bodies. And when some of my crew died, he would not move the bodies, and because of that, he was constantly seeing said dead body. And it made him go crazy. So we definitely need to be careful with that. I can refresh this as many times as I want, which is nice. So I can just see what's out there. I've got 200 points, which is great. So I am going to kind of refresh it until I get a really good one. And one thing I struggle with in these games is making sure people get along. Keeping the relationships and the morale up. I always struggle with that. So I really don't want to get a character that's hateful or mean that's just going to pick fights with others. That's not good. This one is decent. Fast learner, tolerant, loves farming. They're a pacifist though, so they'll never fight. But as long as you've got other characters who can fight, you should be fine. But I, I'm going to quick keep looking while it doesn't cost me anything, so we'll make the most out of this. I guess the best way to do it is to just keep refreshing and look for the all green. Well, not necessarily all green. You can get like negatives that cancel out that gets cancelled out by the uh, the positives. Not all the time, but sometimes. This one is solid. Fast learner. Morale boosts are double because they're excitable. Speedy, moves faster, loves stocking machines. There's literally no downside for this fella. So, with that said... Orwell Anderson, you are our, our first colonist. So we unlock the ego, as they call it. Computer says maybe not the best choice, but the computer doesn't know. 
I'm the superior computer in this instance, so... I'm gonna go ahead and grow them. That's gonna take a little bit of time, which is fine. Speed up time there. Okay, ready for harvest. Harvest. Okay. So, first thing I want to do. Welcome on board. Let's change the uniform. What, what should we give him? Maybe blue uniforms? Until I like give him a dedicated job. That'll be the way to do it. You. I need you over here. Activate the SOS beacon. SOS beacon has been launched. That is good news. He's going to go around here and he's going to start unpacking all of these crates. So we've made contact with some scavengers and they will offer to fix what we uh, have broken. And they're going to give us some Zypher. And a Zypher is basically the material it is used to create and build everything. So it's kind of like cash almost. So all I want is some ore, I believe. So we need to do a mission. We need to mine that. We also need to mine that. And that. Risk of infection is low at all locations, which is good. So I'm going to leave him to it. He's going to go collect that ore. Now, slowly, as time goes on, we're going to get an increased amount of DNA fragments that's going to build up. So, as that goes up, I'll be, be able to unlock more colonists. Okay. I'm hoping the next colonist I can get will be good at, say, mining, and we can have them be our dedicated miner, but... I may have missed a message there. It just said that this character was acting strangely. I hope he didn't get infected. That would be a really unfortunate way to start this. Okay, what is it they want me to build? Trading pod, okay. Trading pod. For now, I'm going to place it here. But what I'm going to do later is move it over to this side where the storage room is because it'll just be easier and quicker. Now he's going to load that up. I want him to load it up with ore. We're going to sell all the ore we get. Now I need a research station. I'm going to put that sucker here. For now. Okay, research station is up. Nothing's been researched. So in order to get the ref refinery, we need basic power. 
let's research that. Right, we can research both. Once that's done, we'll go straight to this. He's loading that up currently. Okay. Researching. It's a one man army. And he's still researching. Okay. Let me see, is there anyone else I could grab? Hates farming, refuses to cook. I can't afford them anyway. Afraid of the dark, probably not a good thing to have in space. One of my favorite combinations I had was someone who was a potty mouth, but they were also mute. So, that would be a pretty good one to have again. An average Joe probably isn't a bad idea. Nothing too special about him, but... Refuses to cook, hates chemistry, loves fixing objects. That would be a great one, but again, we don't have enough DNA fragments, so. Okay. So I'm probably going to need an additional room. Let me see, what's the best way to do this? How big of a room can I build here? For whatever reason, it won't let me go too crazy when building rooms. Haven't quite figured that out yet. I could do this. Let this just be like a main corridor, perhaps. We'll see if he builds this. So, the mistake I made last time I was doing this. I put like a regular door because I didn't realize that in order to switch through options I have to right click to bring up like additional building ob objects such as the airlock. So I put a regular door here and basically my first two colonists walked out into the deep space and just suffocated. And that's when my first station spiraled downhill. This time though we shouldn't have that problem. Still researching, okay. Sleeping on the floor, not great, but not much I can do about that at the moment. Facts. Look mate, bed roll right here. I have to do. Okay, we're going to start leaving bio waste around. Alright, so... My friend, I need you to... One, build that. Build your bed. Okay, two. How difficult would it be to get you to come out here and build this? Oh, he's doing it. 
Nice. This little space suit, perfect. So he's going to build this new room. We're going to make this the kind of like work room. And have an ore refinery in there and all that good stuff. Just off uh, here from the storage area. Once this is done, I can replace this door. I am going to need some additional help here soon, but I'm just letting my DNA fragments build up. See if I can get a second solid colonist rather than just someone who's going to not be that great. Low oxygen. He's building it quick. Okay. Zero oxygen in that room. Now let me try. I want to delete that. Slow time down just in case things go haywire. And we want to replace it with a, a regular door. We could put the door in the middle here. Should I should have done that first, I reckon. Okay, there we go. The wall just auto fills in. There we go. The room is now filling with oxygen because it's connected to the rest of the station. That's good. Just go ahead and go up the floor here. Industrial floor. Yes, let's do that. And wall panels, industrial. This industrial room. Exterior is not great, but that's the exterior. I'm kind of fine with that. We will need a lot of light in there. So, next thing. All refinery. This takes up a lot of room. I would have it would be nice to keep it centered, but I don't need the space. What I can do is build. If I build a treadmill here out of the way, and we put in a couple of small batteries like this side, probably didn't need two of them, but for now it will do. Power will just be connected among these. It will just flow through, which is nice. We've got a power leech now. These are harmless, but they sap your power. But after sapping power for a little bit, they'll just die. And they'll drop an upgrade module as well as DNA fragments, which is really nice. Because I'll be able to upgrade this machine. And I can make it so... It doesn't require power. It's self-sustaining. Or I can make it so it doesn't break. You have these little options on the, the items which are kind of nice. Okay, I'm a little worried. Where did this fella take a nap? Oh... He's mining, okay. Come back, pal. 
Increase this mining skill, that's good. I need him to actually build. Okay, we're no longer going to be selling ore. Going to keep it. We haven't even unpacked all of our supplies yet, but that's fine. He's going to build this up, he's going to get it powered. We're going to start smelting ore, turning it into metal, and then we're going to sell metal for a better value. There we go. Now he's having a bit of a run on here generating power and it's powering these batteries, which is good. This thing is going to need some... I'm going to just leave it just to see if he goes and does it. Now he's unpacking the boxes. We'll get some lighting up in here soon. Actually, I should be able to... All light, and I want it to be like this nice yellow. There we go. Building the lights. It should just automatically light up the room now. There we go. I don't know why it isn't yellow. There we go. He's now refining the ore. Just what we need. That's got a pretty good value, so for now we are going to sell. Going to sell the metal. Oh, and also repair. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, that's the only problem with having one person at the moment. We could take a quick look. I'm one point away. Refuses researching, refuses workbench, loves programming. Interesting one. Also speedy, but they are mute. They cannot talk, so they can't talk amongst themselves, which might might be an issue. Let me just uh, let this tick over to 100. Okay. That would be a good one. Requires 40 more DNA fragments. There will be some things I want to research. In particular, waste recycler and food brick factory. The waste recycler will take all of the, the waste, the the colonists kind of leave lying around and then we can turn it into biomass and we can turn that biomass into food bricks so 
so they don't particularly like eating the food bricks but they actually sell for a decent amount so it's actually a good way of keeping the cash flow something I plan on doing He's sleeping. He's probably going to go a bit bonkers being on his own for so long. Maybe we should just speed this up. Loves cleaning the floor, hates cleaning blood. Refuses chemistry. Fast learner. Death. I don't know how good that's going to be. Like, people won't be able to talk to each other. This is an amazing one. My god. I can just get enough DNA fragments. I kind of want to let this let this in. Let's go ahead and research this because we can get that made and start working. Three days and no one has died. That might be a record. Okay, waste recycler was unlocked. I want to get this down quickly because I don't want waste to build up around the station. I want to try and keep morale up as much as I can. We're actually out of cash, that's not good. Tell a lie, I could sell what I've I've got loaded up. 2,000, so I need a bit more. Go ahead and sell more metal. That's going to be the way forward. Little researching. Can I build toilet stalls? Do I have to research that? What I could do is move this and if I put it like right here outside the airlock Ooh, or maybe if I put it here Actually I'm going to put it here Okay What I need to do is move so if i want it there okay so the walkway has to come to there okay the reason i'm putting it so far back is that I think enemies come in through the trade post, unless they just come randomly, I don't know. I don't know, how, I don't know where they appear from, but... This is the move. There we go. So it's going to be a shorter walk to get from here to there, instead of having to go all the way around. Load it up. Nice, nice. It's a bit of a walk as well, but what it is.
How full is this? Oh, you just sold everything, okay. We are keeping all, yes. Yes, we are. Okay, so with that newfound money, we're going to build a waste recycler. If I just build it here, it will just automatically sap power from the batteries, which is nice. Biomass will start being created. This guy is starting to get a bit upset. What's wrong? Noise is deafening. I ate something nasty. Eat on the floor. He's working well on his own. I'm going to get the second colonist up soon. I want to get this this person because they're pretty amazing, but they're expensive. I'm just going to wait. Wait just a bit longer. I want to let... I don't know how to let this thing in. Should have an option for opening airlocks, but... Door's not locked. I have a feeling I need a cable. I need a bit of wire. So let me go ahead and put this wire like right here. I think they can only set power either from batteries they can access. No, the battery was accessible and never went to it. So they can only sap it from the wires. So when he wakes up, he's going to build this wire. Yep. There we go. Now this is coming in. Perfect. And what this little fellow will do, he'll start sapping the power from the wire. He takes a little bit and he'll drain it a few times. You'll see the batteries getting lower and lower as he drains the, uh, drains the power. But he'll drop a whole bunch of DNA fragments and upgrade module. So it's well worth doing in my book. I got no one on the colony at the moment working. Getting close though. 30 more or oh, 20 more DNA fragments and we're good. Item discovered. Pendants can be sold for money. Wait, can I just add this in here? No. He charged it back up. That's just gonna suck the energy. Gonna overload it here soon, hopefully. No option for a pendant yet. Am I missing something or is there no human waste anywhere? Come on. Spire already. Is 
There we go, we expired. And it dropped an upgrade module. And what we can do with this is upgrade various machines. Probably starting off with the ore refinery. Now we could make this so it doesn't take power. Or we can make it so it never breaks. We can also increase the production speed or we can increase the production yield. Production yield would be a good one because it means for every like... Every time you like say process ore to get metal, you'll now get two metal in, in return. So that's like a must have. The power isn't that big of a deal at the moment, so... Sleeping, five more DNA points. Oh, come on. Own. Come on. One more. There we go. So, unlock more colonists. Oh, this one's 185. Damn. Bit. Did that price go up? Okay, so the upgrade is ready to be used. Increases production yield by one. I think that's the best thing. It basically just gives us more materials. So just a single click there and it's upgraded. And there we go. Charismatic, excitable, speedy, loves farming, loves cooking, loves programming. A perfect colonist. So let's get them out here. They're growing. Growing, 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 ready for harvest. Welcome to Angel Station. I was going to give them all matching uniforms, but for now we'll just leave them, leave them wearing whatever. Colonists get sad when bad things happen, like when they're hungry or if they see a friend getting hurt. Bad things will negatively affect a colonist's morale. When morale is low, your colonists will refuse to work. If someone... I guess this guy's not happy. We just got you a friend, mate. Stinky breath ate something disgusting. Okay, uh... Restock priority, oh. Hell, this is important. Restock this all the time, mate. You don't want poop hanging around. Big no-no. All right, so the next thing we want, if I can find it, I believe there is a toilet stall I can build just to make these guys a bit happier. There it is. And since someone loves programming, maybe we can get a programming terminal, even a crypto miner. Is there any kind of noise dampener? Sealed doors. A door, it opens and closes, separate atmospheres on either side, but will still allow... allows flow when open. Okay, so it does separate the atmosphere, so...
Let me get some basic stuff done here. Furniture was unlocked. Oh. When I switch things over like that, it overrides. So unless it's in the same tree, like if I click here, and then I click down here, it gets rid of this. So I need to just click one thing at a time. Treasure just sold for 2k. What treasure? Okay, we have a toilet stall now. The important things. I'm just going to stick this in the corner here in the storage room. <laughs> Ready for use. So far, we've bought over no bio waste. Oh, there we go. Perfect. The next thing we'll want is the food brick factory. Just wondering, I want to just cram everything into this room. Just stick it here. A bit cramped for now, but it, it's fine. It's fine. It's offline. Wait, why is it offline? Because it's not built yet. <laughs> Restocking this will be more important than... Uh, I don't know why I make it so high. Basically, this will be our income. That does work, it is powered, good. So it doesn't necessarily need like all access points, you know what I mean? As long as one one square's, you know, reachable, you can build wherever. Which is kinda handy. Alright, so Nutrition bricks. They sell for five hundred. That's where we're gonna be making our money. Who are you? May. Okay, May. Pick up this object. Just one. Oh, no, no, no. Take item. One. Put said item over here. There we go. Come over here. Engage the warp drive. This is it, we're returning to the previous system. No one's outside, good. So if anyone's outside during a warp jump, it's not good. 
They get turned into jelly. To this warp monster. There's no sign of the fleet. What's that noise? It's a distress signal. Mayday, mayday. Our station has been overrun by some sort of infestation. Anyone out there, please respond. Okay. I'm gonna rescue. I'm gonna rescue that person. But before I do that, let me have a look here. How noisy is this room? Generic room. Overlays. Germ overlay. Someone needs to clean the floor, thank you. Vacuums have no noise. Okay. So it's absolutely noisy in here. And they're not happy when they have to work because of it. So I want to make a sleeping quarter. I'm just not sure where. If I have it coming off this main room, we could go out to the right here. I mean, the size of the station can be absolutely massive. So, unless I make a secondary storage room over here. I think we do it here. Fortunately, you can never center it. So do it from here. We'll do it from here. Kind of separate a little bit. There we go. Then all of this will be like civilian area, like a food area, cooking, um, all that good stuff. I should have made it bigger. I could have like lined it with stuff. But it's literally just going to be a, a corridor. It's fine. And do we do a windowed floor? Oh, look at that. I'd say half panel out here. Yeah, look at that. We can now change this. Instead, we're going to build. No oxygen is fine. 
oxygen is filling up. Nice. Then we're going to build another room out here. I'm just trying to figure out what what's the layout going to be. We have kind of like a center room and then like a couple of rooms off from it. Wait, can I do windows? I think I can. Window. Oh, hell yeah. Can I just do how how expensive are these a hundred? Can I just do it all the way along? Nice. Can build my money. Oh, it's already built. Nice. Okay. Okay, no biomass found. That's that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to continue building this here in a moment, but what's next? Rescue the civilian. This one's good. Loves stocking machines. Well, I've already got that, but also loves mining. Loves carrying bio waste. This would be a good one. Okay, so what do I need? I need to check the star map. We've got to rescue someone and we're going to get a whole bunch of experience and DNA fragments. But at the same time, infection risk is very high. It's a 100% success chance regardless of who I send. So let me just send all well. Okay, he's going to go do that. The rooms don't go very big. Can't afford to build the airlock, okay. Colonist was infected on the mission, so this is where it becomes a problem. He's going to go crazy and he's going to attack the other person. Where did you send us? This place is crawling with slime creatures. Not good. What do we have here? More meat for the grinder. I don't know who that dude is. Cuddlers detected, do not engage.
Yep, so it literally happens from wherever your trade post is from the look of it. Lock this door down. We need to escape. So... Where are you, mate? Pooping. Okay, I'll let him poop. Can I lock regular doors? No. Okay, you, you woke up good. I don't think there's a way to cure anyone that's infected. I think we're safe for now, okay. Okay, Synthetic Overlord, Mr. Pink, blah blah blah, okay. Recipe cash. Nice. So all those creatures died. He unlocked this door. Now he's the problem. So here's what I'm going to do. Star map. Let's just start mining. That is true, Zemum. And they actually drop stuff. I didn't realize they drop stuff when they die during warp. That's really nice. Okay, this guy. View upgrades. I forgot I could do this. such nice stats I'm gonna switch him to red just so I, I know he's currently infected I don't know what to do Can lock him outside the airlock might not be a bad idea. So we actually have enough upgrade components to upgrade a few things. We can make this so it requires no power, or we can make it so it never breaks. That's a tricky one. So far, power isn't really an issue, but people don't like generating power. But if the object will never break... So I guess objects can break and they can start fires and things like that. But if an object does break, it gives my colonists a chance to repair it, getting their skill up for future breakages. But it's tricky, like what do I go for? Oh, but I, what I do want to upgrade here. Production yield. Production yield. We do have enough DNA fragments to get another colonist, so... Maybe grab this guy, he's got blue skin, but that's fine. He's charismatic, speedy, loves stuck in machines, loves to mine. Seems like a pretty good fit. Try and keep an eye on this guy. Because it's going to go bad. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting I can do that. It might not be a bad idea 
and then just immediately regrow him so he's not infected. I believe I still get his uh, ego. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, maybe I should do that because he's starting to uh, go a little, a little loco. All right, come on, returns to the source. Let's go. Free will drone. Come on, buddy. I died. I did pretty good. Here we go. One big, happy, uninfected family. Alright, so... Low oxygen again. Okay. Let's take a look at our colonists. What are they happy with? What do they hate? What does it show me that again? Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Try and get it to where people only do the jobs they enjoy doing. That wall they're building there.
There we go. Get that built. Everyone's somewhat happy. Bathroom urgent. Increased max health, athletic, regular. Do we go for increased movement speed? Some of them are already have speedy. I wonder if that will just increase their speed movement speed overall. The faster they move around, the more work they do, I guess. But we also want them to survive, so having them more durable would be a good idea. Having them use the bathroom more often as well would be good because that would generate me more money if I keep selling food bricks. <laughs> Those are some hard choices. That is not the best place to sleep, my man. But okay. I respect your decision. I'm going to leave him out there. Buy a waste in there, which is good. How does this work? I wonder. I wonder if I can just pick that up and slot it in here. Yeah, into the analyzer. Something was unlocked. Flower pots. Perfect. That's cool. Maybe I should have done all the low level research first. Okay, so work will continue here. It's going to be slow, but they're getting through it. Yeah, I should have made this wider. I could have planted uh, plants and stuff along the way. Probably end up extending this out at some point. Am I blind? Where's the door? There we go, nice painted door. Okay. 
First things first, let's change the floors. Carpeted floor, hell yeah. Can we pick the colour? We can. What's a nice cosy colour for a bedroom? Purple. Blue. Green. Green. Nice wooden panelling in here. Okay. Gonna need lighting. I just realised I gotta get power out here. Might be an issue. Oh, wood beds. Yeah, let's do it. How much are the beds? 2k each? Oh. Okay, for now. Anything else I can research just to make this look nicer? Woodiest. I should have just waited for this. So we're making money with the food bricks, that's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Lads. Unpowered. Fight him. Uh, this sucks. Can I not rescue them? Um, okay, for now, I need to. I need to. Build. Destroy. Destroy. Go. Quick. Quick. Damn it, they suffocated. You know, I could have just left that that door there. That wasn't a big deal. Normal doors would have been better. I didn't want to seal it. Well, that's unfortunate. This is at least going to fill with oxygen there. Not much oxygen, but... Suffocating. No. He just died. Okay, well, guys. Yeah, stop going in here. Let it fill with oxygen. Okay, let's get these two back. <laughs> to be fair, that's more on them than it is on me, you know? I think that wasn't really my fault, was it? It's low oxygen, but give it time.
Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to uh, even out. I don't want to say this is where you sleep yet because... <laughs> Give it some time. Waiting for an engineer, is it broke? <laughs> is he okay? There's a little bit of oxygen in here. Yeah, I think it's okay. Look at that. Walking center station. Wait. You can hover over stuff? That's cool. Does that mean... Oh, so whatever's in this zone, you can kind of hover over it in the background and it'll tell you what it is. It's neat. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look here. Let's... We're going to want better food for my colonists. Although I do want to get this like rug section. Oh, I want more garden stuff. That's what I need. So many things to pick from here, but I think we need to go for the kitchen. Another one of these zapping the energy. Fortunately, they got to keep running because of this thing. It's going to expire any moment, though. There we go. Another upgrade mo uh, module. I don't know what to upgrade, though. I can try upgrading this. Expensive, though. Why hasn't this been... I'm a little confused. What's the hold up? Okay, let them finish researching this. Hey, Brainless King, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate that, thank you. Hope you're doing well.
think there's enough oxygen in here now I can, uh... Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not send them in there just yet. Okay, I tell you what, let's stop. Stop selling for now. Figure out what to do with these bricks. We got so much metal though. What's the metal used for? Okay, we've run out of space because of all this metal. I can probably sell it if necessary, but... Oh, nice one, mate. I'm just on having a bit of a mess around on Starmancer. It's a lot of fun. My first colony didn't go too well though, so I'm attempting it a second time. Kind of know a bit more about what I should be doing, so... That. Okay, it's really dark in here. I'm going to have to fix this. I could run power this way. Do wires generate noise? Okay. So. Create a mission to Mr. Pink Station. Okay. Okay, easy enough. A look at the star map. Mr. Pink. Contract. And this fella out. 100% chance of success. We need five uh, nutrition bricks, okay. How's the oxygen situation? <laughs> oh, much better since I did these plants. Okay, that's good. Oh. Who died? And where? Seriously, who the heck died? No, why did they die? <laughs> I'm good. It sucks that when they die, they can lose points to their skills. It must have been on the mining mission.
Wire's almost built, which is good. Now, what I want to know is if I put a lights on the floor. And why is that not connected? Something going on with the power here. It won't go through the wall. There we go. Oh, he suffocated. I don't know where he went. He could have just walked out, though. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause, pause, pause. Where are they? How are they suffocating? It says there's a 78% oxygen. Yeah, it's decreasing, but... Okay. Carbon dioxide scrubbers create oxygen. I don't think I've got those yet, but let me have a look. <laughs> it's not good. Solar panels. A monument, billboard, television. Down here. Probably along this one. Wall wall vents. Life support. Air duct. Oxygen recycler. Okay. So don't go to sleep. That's not good. Can they survive the nights? No. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Whoops. Hey mate, I need you to go and retrieve their heads. Look. And bring their heads here. So that's definitely not good. We need to just research the oxygen recycler. Does he still have the head? Yes, he does. Let's figure out this power issue. Oh, kind of dumb. I think as long as the wire is down first, I can place objects on top of it.
Our floor light's pretty horrible. But I'm curious if people can just walk on top of it. Let's move it right there. People are going to block them from entering the room. Or it's going to work. Okay. So, star map. Station. Contract. You. Off you go. We're looking good. We're looking good. Maybe I just need more plants. Maybe that's it. I want more plants. Otherwise they're gonna all suffocate when they go in here. Yeah, it's decreasing. If it goes below 80% they start suffocating. <laughs> Pause, damn it. Need more plants. Um enough to stop him from dying also this light can go in the center a, si a single oh <laughs> I was say a single plant is like doing it but no they just died that's why they're not taking up oxygen anymore so this is a bit of a Bit of a problem. Wait, is that plant even built? No, it's not. Okay, so they return the heads, which is good. Thankfully, there's no downside to growing them repeatedly. I think maybe make them a bit more durable. That's the way to go. In fact, I think we need some more, more planters. I know it's right up against the bed there, but not much I can do. Actually, I can move this along. I think we need like an additional person working for us here. We have room for five. Has my death count really reached eight people already? Jeez. That's about as many as my last colony and that was, that was bad. This has at least been somewhat smooth. Yeah, so as soon as they go in there, they suffocate. So it's like... Don't go to the bedroom. <laughs> Not safe. I 
I need a better plan for this. Okay, so what I also want is a place to grow food. And basically a bigger storage area. So I'm wondering if I just do this a few times. I don't know having bigger rooms is a mistake gonna find out though I think I can go back to selling the food bricks Just rebirth him quickly. You there. Perform your contract. Oh look, it's okay. They're not suffocating anymore because we've got plants. Heck yeah. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's okay. Wait. Yeah, they're okay. <laughs> as long as not too many go to sleep at the same time, they'll survive. I want this to be the rec room. Or, um, I don't know, what do we call it? I'll just call it rec. Oh, so that's treated as one giant room, is it? I appreciate you doing the research here, bud. But... Okay, so we've got live support now. That's good. That's good. Let's see, how does this work? Oxygen emitter, air duct. Okay, so I could have an air duct here. Noise is deafening.
So if I build an oxygen emitter. Or an oxygen recycler. I mean, I can build it in here. This room is just going to deafen anyone that goes in. It's going to be a miserable experience, but it's important. Hey, PC Max Jaws. Um, I've never played Space Haven, but I have another friend that was saying Starmancer is very similar to it, and I should check it out. So in that regard, I'm assuming it's similar. The missions are not randomly generated, though. As far as I can tell, I could be wrong. It's in the best interest if we have this just go into here so no one ever <laughs> ever runs out of oxygen when they sleep. Morale has increased by 13.25%. Many thanks. Okay, yes. Nice. Someone's hungry. Well, we've got plenty of food bricks. There's no power. Okay, so. I need to get rid of this. Just need a regular old door. What you got for me? I'll place it right here. I feel yellow should be industrial and green should be all the crops and all that good stuff. Nice, no one is suffocating. That is good news. Need someone to come destroy these uh, doors. Okay. Get those doors built. Oxygen's going to increase in here slowly. I'm going to give it a chance. I say slowly, it's actually going pretty quick. So. What I want now is crops. 
Now, I'm, I'm assuming that I can place stuff down and people can walk over them. I could be wrong, but we want wheat here. See so yeah, how this works. What have I planted? Carrots, tomato, wheat. So we just need potato. I'm curious if they can... Yeah, they can walk over it. That's good. I'm going to want power coming over here. I'm thinking the storage over here. Maybe I should have flipped this over so the crops were at the back and the storage was close to the doors, but it should be fine. I can always make a, of a corridor here. Okay, so that's all it lights up. Got it. Okay, this room is going to need to be expanded. For all the construction that goes on, it's not sufficiently spaced. So I'm thinking if I just do this... And then what I can do over here is build that will give access to the outside to build all this <laughs> the wooden paneling walls okay we gotta change that uh what would make for good window panel can these be colored nope there we go a better floor industrial floor standard floor Foundation floor. Mesh floor. Nice. Plants are growing. Do I have something else I want to store? I want to research, which is the storage uh, containers. I can find them. There we go. Storage bin. Water storage.
It makes me happy to see that they're able to sleep and not suffocate. That's good. Where's low oxygen? We get some more lighting. Oh, Ebus, what's going on? I'm so confused. Oxygen, 100%. Why are they suffocating? What am I missing here? Okay, mate, you've really got to... You need to go retrieve their heads immediately. He's got it. It's one. I'm so confused. It says it's a hundred percent. There's no no leaks, is there? Hang on, uh, overlays, oxygen overlay. Okay. So I'm a little confused here, what's going on? Okay, we've got storage bins now, which is good. I'm thinking... Okay, let me pause for a moment. Oh, let me get this one thrown. Get the next one done. Uh, I kind of want to get a hold of the power, get that under control. I also want recipes. Solar panel seems like a pretty good one to have. Mining drone. Look at that researching, eh? See, my core... Is producing oxygen, so what is the problem? Why are they suffocating? Okay, maybe I do this. Maybe I separate some of these rooms with doors.
One of these days I'm going to click the right thing right off the bat. Manual door. Fancy door. No water. I need water. Okay. Let me sort out the storage tanks first of all. Storage bins. Oh no, I can only build one. <laughs> Are we still selling food bricks? We've got an overwhelming amount of them. Sell, sell, sell. Get this under control. Morbid curiosity, pacifist green skin. If you refresh it too many times, it starts costing DNA fragments, but since it's only one, it's not a big of a deal. We have plenty. This one again. Refuses to clean the floor. But with a colony as big as it is, do we really need anyone else to... I mean, that seems like a good one to have. Can be the person of handling dead bodies unless they die. I need another bed. Bunk beds. Yes. Couple of bunk beds, perfect. Right now, no one's suffocating. That's good. I might have to harvest some more ice. Get more water because we are running low. There we go. Wheat's going to go into this storage box. I should probably upgrade some stuff, I just don't know what. This be upgraded? Oh, oxygen recycler doesn't require power. This is a bit of a no-brainer. It's no longer going to suck power from the grid. It's always going to be working. Nice. Did this not work? Did no one go through the build here?
Okay, we're loading this up. That's good. I'm going to have to get some storage bins along here. So I guess you have to go around. I feel like this is always on the go as well. Maybe set it to perpetual motion. So it doesn't require power. That's fine. Everything's good over here, no one's suffocating. Okay, that is a problem. <laughs> the door has no power, so they're all stuck in here. Hmm. Okay, guys, we're gonna get rid of this door for now. As pretty as it is, it's no good. I know you've got free time, but you need to get on with this. Boy, she's trapped. How's, how's space looking? Oh, do they? Okay, that's good to know. I think they, they may have just been idling out here, so that's why they weren't moving. I mean, it's not ideal, but let me just throw down a, a bog just so they don't do this again. I'll get this stocked up. Oh god. <laughs> Off wooden paneling on the outside. Entry gun has been unlocked. Nice. This is I'm having an easier time now than I was having before. Before the game was throwing everything at me, so I wonder if the patches made the game easier. I don't know. Feels it. Okay, so this was built.
might be a horrible mistake, but <laughs> we will see. Come on. I'm come delete this wall. Part of my plan. Quick, quick. Build the wall, build the wall. Oof. Um, they've automatically been planting the wheat. They haven't been doing anything else though, because I, I guess I don't have the seeds. They are doing the wheat. Also a good point, I'm going to run out of uh, water soon. Okay, it's bringing me in some dosh, that's good. Just let the atmosphere even out. Uh, I guess kind of check, see if any of your colonists like refuse to, uh, to farm. That might be an issue. Or you might need to raise the Oh, you can't do it on here. I was going to say the priority of like planting, but... Okay, let me quickly look here. Research. I want the solar panels up so we're always generating electricity because the treadmill's a bit of a pain. Then we're going to deal with the water. Maybe delete the seeds you've got and then just try to accumulate some new ones just to see if that fixes the issue. Might be one way of doing it. Okay, I'm going to move this there for the moment. I'm going to destroy. Is there any point in me like keeping these rooms split up? Yeah, I was trying to spread it out a little bit. Because they were all working in this tiny room which has got some massive noise pollution. I'm going to try and spread it out in this area. I don't know if the doors make any difference if I put a door here. I think noise goes through walls, you know, unless there's a vacuum. Maybe a vacuum would have been a better better option. Wait, can I? Hold up. Oh, okay. So I guess the way to do this, have a power generating room, which includes like a water purifier and all that, all that jazz. It's separated. And then you have just atmosphere and just like a, 
spice bridge connecting it for maintenance. That's going to be the way to go. I upgrade this. A little bit of wheat in there. Oh, I can make a workbench. Curious what I can do with that. As soon as I find it. I haven't had any enemies for a while. I don't know what's going on. If I put like a defensive turret like out here, like a platform there, because I feel all my enemies spawn from this thing, the trading pod, and they just queue up here to get in. How's research going? So far, everyone's mostly happy. I think the game really wants me to continue on. Charismatic, pacifist, excitable. I think I need like some different loves. Someone who loves to research would be a good one. In fact, why isn't anyone cleaning this up? You. Whatever you're doing, stop. Clean this up. Refuses to perform task, okay? Refuses. Wait, every single person I have refuses to clean the floor? Why? Is that a bug? <laughs> that might be a bug. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Ah. Ah ha ha. Cleaning the floor. Okay, he refuses. Move this up. You don't need to carry the dead body, I got someone else for that job. Let's see how that goes. Bunk beds are the way to go. All is well on Angel Station. Except my storage. I mean, I could take this wall out and just expand it to 
encompass this entire space for now. Almost finished researching. Now I got twenty K. I was researching finished. Almost. I have an idea for a power generating room. I'm going to separate it off. There's one room where though. Could do it over here. It's just that everything's connected to this area already, so it would have made it easier. I don't think it matters though. And it's like, if I keep building along here, I could build more of these ships for more contracts. Solar bad. Uh oh, suffocating. Where are you? You go out with you. You went out without a helmet. Okay, well. Why can't I tell him to save this fellow? To the fight him, like just drag him inside. That was weird. After I finish researching this, I'll do the big battery. So what's the negative of doing solar? Or is it like heat generation or something along those lines? Oh, everything's considered recreational now. Okay, that's not good. Build. Put the fancy door back up. I think it'll be fine. There we go. Never noticed there was a window there.
Uh oh. Did I just crash? No, I'll give it a chance. Maybe it will come back. Okay. Unfortunate. Thankfully, there's auto save. <laughs> I think we're good. I don't know what all I lost apart from the storage bins. I did expand this room out, so there's that. Workbench ever get made? Oh, this generates heat. Cyborg, part, cyborg parts, killer nanobots. These just things to be made. Ice sculptures. Ah, okay. That's why I crashed the last time then. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, when I uh oh. the heck. Yeah, that uh that is buggy. I'll probably move those. <laughs> I'll do it after. I'm going to increase their free will. I probably should look at upgrades for all my people. Take a look. Durable because I want you people to stop dying. And I just want them to be happier. No morale problems. Oh, really? Hmm. Is that the only way to deal with fire? Make sure there's no oxygen in the room? I 
Interesting. I gotcha. That's actually pretty smart. I feel like if anything's gonna do it, it's gonna be this. I'm gonna figure out where I can physically put it. I can get to. <laughs> Oh wait, they don't have to build it. Oh yes, they do. What do I need right now? I don't need that for the moment. There we go. So, it, th this game is currently in early access, am I right in saying that? I'm a little confused because I could have sworn it's been in early access for a long time because I've been hearing about it for a long time, but they just launched recently. So did it just come out of early access yesterday? Ah, okay. I'm just lost. Don't mind me. Okay, I'm going to let them continue researching. I'm going to go grab a drink. I'll be right back. One moment.
back and no one's dead. Research is almost done. Yeah, we're up to 11. <laughs> when I first saw the, uh, the Upsea tracker, I thought it was a bit overkill, like having that permanently there, but now I'm starting to see why it's there. Okay. Solar panels, how do they work? Can you afford one? Okay. Yeah, so the very first colony I started... I had, I didn't know how to... Uh, like, the first thing I... My first issue was that I didn't realise I could right-click on an item with a little plus to get different variants. So I didn't know how to make more airlocks, so... The first mistake I made was using the regular door while building and basically my whole crew suffocated. But the game was forgiving enough I could kind of bounce back from that, where other games I'd have just been game over restarting immediately. I had that happen as well, uh, <laughs> artist. That, that happened to me yesterday. It was, uh, it was rough. I had to put them down. Wait, has just become friends with someone? Like, goddamn, how long have you been on this station? Everyone's unhappy. Autonomous. Hmm. i move on to the next area. I probably should. I want to load this up though. You know, we can launch this now. It's fine. Okay, so I've got the money. Solar panel. So I was just looking at how I'm going to build this. Like I want a power generating room somewhere. Yeah, it, it Yeah, it still needs to be hooked up the the, the grid though. 
and I want a room to store all my batteries. And I want to separate that room off because I can also stick in like the oxygen recycler and that's something that's continuously producing sound but doesn't actually require anyone to be in that room apart from maintenance. So I can put those two in the same room. And if we separate the room, you know, no noise. That's the theory anyway. Keep going on here and I forget what I'm looking for. Water storage probably wouldn't be a bad thing. And what was I looking for? I was just looking to set it going. What's the same one? Oh. Hopefully. How big is this map? It's pretty big. You can build a massive station if you really wanted to. Kind of cool. Oh, careful, mate. That's how you get yourself killed. Oh, three of you. Four of you. That's what I was... I was wanting there. Big battery. Research this. And then a jukebox. Why not?
I like that you can overlap wires and air ducts and all that stuff. Everyone's unhappy. Praise the sun. Okay, can I build a battery yet? Come on, get back to work. This is one who loves researching. I haven't seen one in a while. Loves building and cooking. That's not bad. Okay. So. So an ox oxygen recycler needs oxygen in the first place, doesn't it, before it can even work? Everyone just come out to chill with the solar panel. Come build these. What are you doing? Everyone's becoming unhappy. Oh. Who's suffocating? If you're suffocating, it's because you did something you shouldn't have. Low oxygen. And we just need cash. Someone build this, please. OK. 
Okay. Can this be upgraded? Oh, it can. Doubles the amount of power created will never break. Feel like something's happening or not happening. We're unhappy. How much power does this generate? Well, there's some FPS issues happening now. I wonder if it's because of the size of this. Look at that. Oh, the game does not like speeding up anymore. Dirty water, okay. I gotta deal with dirty water. What's the purifying purifier again? Not the sanitizer, is it? No. A water purifier, there it is. I can fix this. Yeah, I only did it once. Okay, water purifier is done. Oh, this is why nothing was working. I feel like it sped up once I connected the grid. I mean, it's still getting the FPS drops, but not as much as it was earlier. So do I have enough money yet? No, I do not. I just want to get some big batteries up in here. See if I can store, store everything. else is important. Oh, that would be useful.
I guess it wouldn't hurt for me to move to the next area, would it? I guess right now I'm just trying to figure out why... I, I guess when I look at the power line... Oh, it is lit up now, okay. It wasn't earlier. Wow, they get to eat once a day. <laughs> Rough. So didn't I build... Oh, I never connected these up. If I'm not mistaken, shouldn't this room fill with oxygen now? Word. Wait, why did that door get locked? Nine K. Yeah, this this uh lag is starting to become an issue. I guess more storage bins if I could store all this stuff inside might help. Seriously, why did all these doors lock? Someone trying to sabotage me?
I hook one of these? An air duct up to the, the core. I haven't quite sussed why this room isn't given oxygen. Oh, whatever. Put down one big battery here. How much can this store? Thousand. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I suppose I could put lighting in here. Not that it's needed, but... Normal vent oxygen. Oh. So, things are kind of going okay, people are getting unhappy, but I mean, we're still alive. We're still very much alive, which is a big plus. Let's make a... Let's decorate the area a little bit. Decorate the area. In fact, research. Give me, give me everything. We want tables, we want chairs, we want a place to sit down and eat.
Ooh, okay. <laughs> a lot of money. So I'm going to build this as kind of like the, the eating area, hangout area. I'm going to turn this into a kitchen. We'll hook it up with here once we got this all kind of going. Yeah, I haven't built that yet, but that doesn't that generate noise as well? I mean, still going here. Do like I do like ho hovering over stuff in the background just to identify what it is. Though. Okay, what all's making the noise here? is cool okay let's uh they still haven't cleaned this floor i don't know why people aren't cleaning the floor I need someone that loves to do that. I lock this door. That door's locked. Go ahead and gauge warp. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, 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 pause. Who's suffocating and where? How, how did you get outside? I locked the door. Why would you go outside with... <sighs> okay. Why would you go outside when the door's locked? How do you even get through it? Now he's turned into a 
Shambler. I'll deal with this problem in a bit. Let me just lock it for now. We gotta take care of him now, don't we? Okay, let's take care of this fella. You got this. Here we go. Yeah, we got some banners. Okay, what else should we research? Dream Extractor. Let's get the star map. Is it worth sending multiple people? I feel like it's a 100% success chance. Kind of. Kind of like Rimworld if it was in space. Well, I guess Rimworld is in space, kind of, but. This is, um. This is very much like. Anyone remembers Space Base? It was DF9. Like homage to Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, I never played Oxygen, not included, so. This is the end of the tutorial. Heck yeah. Random warp. Yeah, space-based DF9 should have been... 
would have turned out really good if they just put more effort into it, like more time. It's like they got it half half assed out the door and then that was it. I love this aesthetic, the the, the pixel or the pixelated, the music they have for this, like everything's awesome. Oh, medium infection risk. Cancel that for now. This whole system seems pretty nasty. Things are going okay for me at the moment. In game at least. Just trying to... Trying to survive. My first colony didn't last very long, so this is my second attempt. Only 12 people have died, so that's uh, an improvement. Funny. It's been the same people that have died. It's just that you can rebirth them, regenerate them. Like this guy died. We took his head, gave it back to the machine. It's recovered his memories, and I'm gonna produce him again here, grow him. We need to get control of this. Um. Now let's use this wall. Be safe before I do this. In case it crashes. Who's there? They're the square. Need someone else to pick up stuff. I need someone else with room. Are these full? They are. Maybe I should just build over here. Under the floor. I think I need to get rid of this storage area.
Generic delete, delete internals, zone. That's gone, okay. On these days, I'm going to press the right thing. Storage container, storage bin, where are you? Because we've got so much water at the moment, I'm going to turn this into water storage. Both of them. It's a pretty cool game, I do like it. I rarely ever stick with these colony kind of uh, sims, but this one I really like. A lot of it's the aesthetic. Kind of like nice and cozy colony sim. Like I really like Rimworld, but aesthetically I kind of like the look of this. Here we go. I didn't know all up. Wait, can I? No. So when you build these, you can pick the color. Can I change the color now? Blue. Yes. Hell yeah. Now we know that's going to be for uh, water. And we'll make this black or gray for the uh, metal. the FPS issues are easing up. Can I build... I always want stuff researching, so let's just get that done. I haven't actually checked this yet. Any of these weapons locker, security scanner, drinking fountain, emergency center. Dream extractor costs 5k. So once they finish uploading the trading pod, drop it down. I do swear though that this second colony is going far better than my first in the sense that it's been smoother sailing. Before, I was having enemies lining up to attack me. I, no one's attacked me, apart from the uh, story ones. So I don't know if something's changed because of the patch. Definitely feels easy. Okay, let's just launch this sucker. Save me from waiting. Wonder if people can get past this. Yeah, they can. Nice. Offline. Wait, why is it offline? Oh, because it needs building. I do this every time. If 
Wait, does each bed need one? Isn't it like a radius? I can always move it if necessary. Oh. I'll wait for him to sleep and I'll move it around if necessary. Wait. Oh, the... Yeah, it can be moved. That's right, I want to do my kitchen next. What colour would the kitchen be? Kind of like this teal colour. There were some doors I needed to grab. Where are they? Oh, I think these are just door designs. Let's get them. Yeah, the bunk beds are nice. I'm thinking if I have those sealed doors here, if a fire breaks out in the kitchen, I can vent the room. So does anyone know why this room isn't filling with oxygen? It's hooked up to a recycler, it's vented I should say. Maybe I just need to build an emitter in here. It's like hooked up to this. How big's your uh, colony, DC? I, I wonder if, like, if a colony gets too big, it starts having issues. I'm not sure though. Just uh, guessing. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think mine's too big, but... Dark room door looks kind of cool. Painted door. Separates atmosphere, okay. do I have 1k so we will make a a fridge a dish counter so I guess a dish counter 
but the, the FPS drops. A dish counter I would want to put in this room here. Yeah, that's the thing. I haven't had anything yet. That generator. Oh. Still having storage issues, it's insane. What is this? Wheat seed. Maybe I need a secondary food brick factory. Wait sleeping um other not okay so that's what's causing the delay maybe a couple of those everyone gets so mad when they go in there Oh, this doesn't even need power to run. Why did I just wire it up? Two days without anyone dying. This solar power seems pretty strong. Keeping us running, no problem. But I'm just running out of storage. You know what might not be a bad idea? Wherever you have all these machines generating noise, you have like a corridor just filled with like posters and rugs and things that are going to make people happy to counter that.
Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Hang on. Tidy up this room a little bit. They random. Oh, they are. That's cool. So it's a different one every time you press it. That's actually really nice. That is very nice. We need more money. I need more storage bins. Can I increase the size of the storage bins? Treasure just sold for 3k, very nice. I think this area cleared up. Why isn't this full? All these empty spots and look at look all the water everywhere. I actually wanted to build the uh, kitchen first. I think I have a played battle hunter. Man, I do love the graphics on this. It's nice. It's cozy, man. Cozy colony simulator. So we want a fridge, we want a cupboard, an oven.
like a power all the way around the room or not. <laughs> oh, space zombies. How many? Three of them. That's not good. Okay, now's a good time to set rules of engagement. Should I got that mini gun up? Okay, let me just pause and check. Is there only one type of sentry gun at the moment? I can never find these things. Oh no, he passed out. Not good. You, mate, get out there, help. Fight him. You there, you pacifist. Oh, good. Get out there and fight him. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, did one get in? Oh, they're in. What are you doing? Need to grow a colonist. It's falling apart. Wait, who, wait, 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 wait. Did you go out without, without a spacesuit? May? Why is there no oxygen? Why am I having oxygen problems? <laughs> this goes back to researching. Oh no, more of them are turning up. There's only one thing we can do. We need to leave. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to tell what's a bug and what isn't. Alright, tell you that, zombies. Okay. Bringing back the crew over and over. Working now. And we still have a head to recover from somewhere because I'm missing a colonist. Okay, so what we... Yeah, that's not working, so that... Wait, that is working. Monetizing dreams.
should have made this unbreakable instead of powered because if it ever breaks it's going to kill everyone in the bedroom nice i haven't i haven't gotten any supreme beans just yet slowly getting there though trying to build a kitchen i need seeds as well No water, purify ice or connect to water tank. Okay, so that's going to be on my to-do list. This needs... This needs water. Just no one wants to do it. To get water you need... Uh... You go out here, you look for, well, I don't have any on this uh, star system, but you look for the, uh, the ice. You go harvest the ice, you bring it back, and the ice gets converted to dirty water, and then dirty water can be converted to purified water through a water purifier. What are you carrying, mate? Oh, you putting it in the fridge? Nice. Oh, he's just eating wheat? Okay. Okay, that's fine. May. Who are you fighting and why? Maybe she's fighting in her sleep. Wait, what the hell? Are you beating up someone who's sleeping? Unless she's just like at the bottom bunk, just like punching upwards. I think that's what uh, that's what it must mean. Wait. She getting out of bed just to punch this person on the top uh, bunk? I'm watching you. Dude's gonna die. How is he awake? Why are you people fighting? I don't know. Maybe once they have some better food. That's, let me look. What is wrong? Aren't you happy? I was starving. Someone else couldn't breathe. Scary. I couldn't breathe. I was hurt. I saw blood. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're starving. Oh, they're starving. Oh, she's dead. Oh, okay. Makes more sense. I got it. I think we need to lay off selling some of this, these food bricks because people are just, okay. Stop that, keep. But now let's just sell off some of this metal I got. I got plenty of metal, sell it. Because I've been selling off the, the food bricks 
because it was just like a continuous way of making money. But I guess they've run out of like the space rations that they've been surviving on, so now they just starved. Good. But oh, he's bleeding out, but he's cleaning up the blood as he goes. Why are you so hurt? To be fair though, I'm playing as an AI, so it's like, yeah, it can always grow more. But they are losing valuable points. That definitely is an issue. Okay, what I want to do now is build a... No, let's uh... Windows up here. And let's go ahead and change the floor. Why can't I see what I'm looking for? Windowed floor. There we go. What color do we make this? It's just black. And we want to put a door there. So they're going to put that door in. We're going to have this connected up so people can go from farming. To the kitchen. But I need to get rid of this door. It's airlock. <laughs> right, people are suffocating when they go in here. I should have an option to keep this door open. This is what's throwing throw me over. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. So I'm making a bit of money. Um, let's go ahead and finish researching the better recipes for both of these. Or pendant and watch. It's all for money. Oh nice. Yeah, I gotta I gotta work on this a little bit. So we want an oven. The oven here. And 
And what else do we want? Cupboard. And we also want a dish counter, but I need more money. Okay, I'm getting a lot of people who are suddenly suffocating. This this corridor is filled with 100% oxygen. There's an air duct in here. Poison? 20 people have died. <laughs> Not good. I'm actually surprised at um, how strong this this is uh, holding out for producing power. Maybe it's because I set everything to just be self, uh, self-sustaining. I'd probably do it. Oh, what's the solution? Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and I feel like I should get rid of these doors and let the air flow. I mean, that's what I've well, that's what I was planning on doing was putting this over there that generates air. But it requires a endless supply of water. Maybe the um, if you if you need information on trying to fix uh, issues, one good place I always have luck with is um, the Steam community discussion area, because most people that buy a game on Steam will go there to, you know, ask questions and that. Before that, you know, before you find it like on uh, anywhere else in the net, that might not be a bad place to see if anyone else has had uh, similar issues. Oh, stop fighting! I got slimes now, haven't I? Somewhere. They might have, they should have an official Discord server as well. Oh. Oh, no, not again, not again. Break out the plants. Build before you die. Oh my god. I need more bodies. Oh wait, do you mean to physically put items outside with like no oxygen? And they always need to be in spacesuits to work. That's one way of doing it, yeah. I feel like I've had moments though where some of my colonists have just stepped outside into the into the vacuum of space with no suit on. 
They're not too smart. Dude, this kitchen. <laughs> Many lives were lost building this kitchen. I feel like it happens quite often for me. I'm overwhelmed with uh, stuff here. So, like, how... This is what I don't understand. Okay, they're all killing each other now, but... So, look at this. Am I wrong here? I've got events coming into this room. Should be giving oxygen to this room. It's hooked up to everything else. It's hooked up to the... The oxygen recycler. Oh, is it because it's not running? No, it's producing. What on earth is going on there? Out of curiosity, can I just fill this with water? I... Silly as that sounds, can I just like do this? To keep this filled with water. Okay. If this works. The FPS issues I'm facing now though is not fun. Can't really speed up time because you just get these FPS drops and it feels slow. Oh. One's dying. My friend, go work. Okay. Questing offload. Oh, someone needs to take the stuff from it, okay. This dude fight- oh, he's fighting zombies. Well, that's probably a good thing. Oh, they were fighting amongst each other then. We got zombies on the station! I need to give her- I need to build him an, an armory or something. Nice. Does this cap out at 400? I just feel like I haven't picked up any new... Any more DNA fragments. Oh, doesn't it? Damn. Zombies aren't considered the red alert. <laughs> I don't know how much redder it needs to be. Okay. So.
Oh! Oh! This is how this works, eh? Well, that makes life easier. Not more space zombies. Oh no. People are suffocating. I feel like... I feel like this station's reached its end. <laughs> well... Originally, I had a plan to kind of like space everything out. You know, a room from the sleep in and so on and... But it's like, as I've slowly been expanding... Just... I got overwhelmed in the storage area and I haven't been able to get it back under control. But now that I can make these tanks... That should make life easier. But I feel like I'm in a bit of a loop at the moment where I keep growing colonists and they keep dying. I still don't know what the deal is with this kitchen of death. In fact, why don't we go ahead and just destroy the destroy the doors. Let the oxygen flow. After the sign of cook. This person likes cooking. Do I have to keep changing this every time they die? That's annoying. Everyone is just beating each other to death. I'm up to 27. And break this wall down, break this wall down. Stop, no, don't, you're suffocating. Why are you trying to cook? Okay, he's okay now. Whew. Waiting for chemist. Chemist? Goop. Okay, so I need miniguns out here because zombies are bad. I could just... I could just... Jump to another system. Overheating expected. Radioactive. Okay, are we are we looking good now? No full back storage. Yeah, storage is full. One else just died. Okay, what I would like is a biomass tank. Right here. Please. A liquid pipe going to both of them. Thank you. Now someone filled the sucker up.
What else are we waiting for to sell? A little bit of metal left. Let's find someone who loves chemistry. No one loves chemistry. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Clicked too fast. Loves cleaning floor. Okay, you're hired because I've had stuff on this floor that needed cleaning for a long time. I'm going to do it with this dude and see if it works. I, I did put one to the very top. That's been there since I started this colony. It was the first bit of grime. And it's never gone away. You no, know, just be faster. That's, that's all I want from you. Cleaning the floor. One job you've got to do is cleaning the damn floor. Top of your list. Look. Look. Do it. He's cleaning the floor, finally! Who did it? Okay. How are we looking? That's almost full. Good. I need more money. Money, money, money. That's what I need. That isn't working with this dude. It works when they sleep in the bunk bed. Hmm. Oh god, this FPS. Oof. Sorry, right, you guys just keep standing in the way. That's fine. Oh no, they trapped. Let's leave. Oh, that does block the way. Oof.
Play the cussing. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Let's see. I'm for a chemist. One of my okay, this person likes cooking and it's the highest priority. Okay, I got a bit of cash now. Probably could do with a sentry turret, but I also need to deal with storage. This biomass tank. That needs to come from this, doesn't it? No, from waste recycler. I think that's how it will work. Why isn't anyone bringing water? So they can't put it in there, okay. Oh, is everything backed up because there's physically no room here? I guess that's the issue. Yeah, I'm getting a little confused with some of this stuff, but... Feel like I'm making mistakes here and there, so it's like I get to this point, I'm like, man, I kind of want to start again so I can figure this out. You know what I mean? There we go. I mean, probably my easiest solution is just to build like a massive room and fill it with storage. But then I worry what's going to happen to my game. Is it going to just lag out? Because right now it gets a bit unplayable when I try to fast forward time. In fact, that's a lie. Okay, no, it it's kind of fast forwarding time at max speed. Okay-ish at the moment. Once I got rid of this backlog that was going on. Once I put these down and they could start filling them, I feel like it stopped lagging, but if I try to move around, I still have these FPS issues. Inaccessible object. Oh. I feel like this is helping a little bit. Can 
Can the big shelf be used for storage? The big shelf for storing the items. Wait. Okay, I see now. Pee. Okay. I'm now facing the issue of too much ore. I could fix that if I... There we go. Might help with my issues a little bit. This tank doesn't seem very big, but I guess the point is it automatically just puts it into stuff. Like once this gets emptied out, it will just take from there. You could literally have a room filled with these biomass tanks. I think you get better FPS zooming all the way out and speed the speed up time. I'm not sure though.
Clean this up a little bit. Weapons locker. How many trading pods can you build, or do you only get one? Oh, you can make another one. I have loads of them. You set. Hang on. Oh, so you could have them sell sep uh, different things each. Okay. What's happening to the nutrition locks? Wait, where is everyone? Oh, my game is paused, that's why. No one... Are they just eating nutrition blocks the second they're made? I think that might be it. Yeah, I feel like I want to remake. What does this mean? Okay, so just so I'm on the same page. Restock priority. This is so you can set your own custom number, isn't it? Like how, how high the priority is. So you can have one at 15, one at 14, one at 13. The priority, or is that how many items? Before it should be restocked, because now I'm now I'm doubting myself.
What do I need to make? So I wonder if that's the way to go. Build all of these places in a vacuum. So... There's no sound, so that you don't get that noise thing. The only downside is, you have to go through an airlock every time. So it's going to be a slower... A slower process. But man, is that the way to do it? People well, don't like it because of the the, the sound. Yeah, the, the bugs are not making it easy because it's hard to tell what's a feature and what's a bug. Okay. Did I not build? Okay, there's no oxygen in here. Hey, the great Gutsy, how you doing? Shut down that for a moment. We'll get oxygen from elsewhere. Alright, it's not going to be easy to test.
How much do I make from this? Oh, they're all fighting each other. <laughs> oh dear. So I could technically fill a machine, uh, fill a room or a platform with machines all working away, but as long as it's outside, there should be no sound. Oh, you don't want to go in this room, mate, you'll uh, suffocate. Let's test. Someone get out here and build this. People are just killing each other now. It's going well. I like I can build invisible pipes. Perfect, so this is the way to do it then. Build stuff just outside on a platform. I don't know how I feel about that. So, I guess it's recommended that you just build all your stuff outside. I, I hope they make something that dampens sound in a room. Like you can build an object that will reduce the, the sound. Maybe safety equipment where you wear, you know, headphones or something like that. 
or ear protectors because it doesn't seem like the game seems I don't know, not as much fun if I just have to build everything out here to have the most optimal colony. I want to mean. But doing it this way, there's no sound issues. What room? What room is so noisy? Can you can you build an oxygen recycler outside? As silly as that sounds, because it's it's not like it's sucking in existing oxygen; it's recycling it from water. So, could I just move this? I mean, I could just test test. Yeah. Do I even need a platform? <laughs> yes. I do need a floor. Yeah, someone build that for me. I'm probably going to start fresh at some point, but uh, I don't mind testing and experimenting there. I just want to move this bad boy. So currently that's it's still running noise overlay, no noise, sound problem solved. That's definitely the way to do it. And as far as zombies go, maybe later down the road, or may maybe it already does, maybe they spawn elsewhere, but I'm only finding them spawn where my original trading pod is. In fact, if I move this over here, will I get, will I get anyone coming in to attack? Better yet, if I move the original one over here, and I move this one down here. i put it in the exact spot it was in. Yeah, but where did the zombies come from? Like on your station, where did they appear? Did they appear on random catwalks? Or did they appear wherever your original trading pod was? Because all the zombies I've had have come from the trading pod. Even when my trading pod started over here. And I moved it, it, it just went with it. Okay, slime's detected. Slime's detected right by the trading pod. And this pod is the second pod. So this is the one I just made. That's the original. So I guess they'll just always spawn next to a, a trading pod. So you would want your trading pod, all of your trading pods in one area with a row of mini guns or sentry turrets. I assume that's the way to handle it. I'm just figuring this out for a future build. Hey, they actually made bread. Oh, yeah. Wheat seed. Okay. Hey, Dr. Scott Math. How you doing? This game is very cool. I'm liking it. Love the uh, art style. 
and the music. I wonder how long it takes for this to go away. On the plus side, the safety bar is going up. Dude's still complaining about noise, though. Okay, the space zombies appeared over here. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like a good mixture of games. A bit of RimWorld, a bit of space-based DF9, Space Haven. I've only got potato seeds, that's cool. I don't think I can ever escape this room is so noisy if they're out there physically working. Uh, I'll be honest, I've never played Space Haven. I'm just, a lot of people have said it's like, it's similar to it. So far though, like this game, compared to most colony, colony survival sims, whatever you want to call them, it feels the most forgiving. Like, it will kill your colonists off. Like, just without mercy, just totally unfair, it will kill them off. Stupid ways, horrible ways, you know, you name it. But, it's easy to recover the colonist, the colony, uh, colonists you lose not to mention if you get into a bit of a mess with your build or whatever you can kind of like recover it it just takes a little bit of time but you can do it pretty painlessly most of the games i don't know i feel like you get to a point where you just have to restart if you make too many mistakes that's definitely been one uh one good thing about this who's fighting These guys are fighting each other in the space zombies outside, what's the deal? Anyway, noise was probably the biggest issue. Even though this keeps saying this room is so noisy, I've yet to see the message someone else was in the noisy room. So that's good.
anything else I should test? Unfortunately, the water tanks don't seem to work right now. Well, no, it does work. It's just by the time I got it set up, it's just not being used. How far in the research tree is storage tanks? So right here, water storage. Or refinery storage bin, water storage. So it's probably best to get that like immediately. Hook them up to the uh, waste. The waste processing machine. And then just have a bunch of food brick factories just pumping out. Pumping out this stuff. So I want to test. So let's see. So we want a pipe going... Okay, down there, and just off to the side, both sides, someone can build that for me, and then we're going to build this here, and one there. Because I just want to see this get taken from this tank. Provided they don't kill each other before they get here to build. I don't understand what... Okay, so the noise that they are hearing is this. You know what, I can just move this. I can't delete it right now, but I can move it. There. So. There's no more noise, it's quiet. I have a feeling those sleep, when they sleep, having the humming is not a good idea. Do I have anything else that can possibly generate noise? Not sure, but come build this. Come build this. These are producing, but where are they getting... They must be getting it from this tank, but the tank hasn't gone down yet. Let's see if the tank goes down. So does this biomass tank not automatically feed to the two brick factories? That's what I want to know. Is 
this isn't empty. And everyone died. But was detected. I was kind of hoping that this would feed straight into these. Maybe it does and I'm just not doing it right. Okay, I'll figure out more of this another time. I'm probably going to start a brand new colony because I feel this one's a bit of a mess and the FPS I'm running into is a bit of a, a pain. Oh, they're not automatic. Ah, okay. I was kind of hoping it would automatically feed into them so they'd keep producing, but if they're not automatic, then that would explain it. So there's not really much point in having multiple ones. If you don't have the people to manage them. How much do these cost to build? Two and a half K. I feel like there's going to be eventual upgrades or research where you can expand this because that just seems a bit weird, all this empty space. And you can just have these here. People keep dying, stop dying. All these critters. So I guess my question is, what do you technically need inside? A sleeping quarters. Uh, a kitchen for when you get the recipes and all that stuff. The uh, farming. I feel like storage could be outside. I, I don't think it matters if it's in or out, but... Uh, yeah, they were before they all died. <laughs> before they all went crazy and started fighting each other. Uh, I completely got rid of the noise thing as well. Like that dream catcher or whatever it is that monetizes dreams. Because it hums, they always have that negative uh, option until I got rid of it. And now it's just green across the board. But I feel like my colony has just gone to the point where uh, everything's a mess and people are fighting it's hard to get them back on track but I think that's what I'm going to do on my next colony have big platforms outside just line up like tanks and stuff for all the storage 
I, I still don't. Yeah, here's this dude. Oh, he's going to build. What I don't know is. Build that. I'm just testing stuff to be honest because I'm probably going to start one, a fresh one but I was trying to make like a well it turned into a disaster but originally I was trying to make everything kind of like uh, done nicely machines generate noise and if it gets too loud your colonists don't like the noise and it makes them sad so originally my plan was to have you know Anything that generated power, like all the way out here, along with the oxygen, along with the uh, oxygen recycler, because that's always making noise. Uh, here you go, noise deafening. But this machine can be done outside, so. Oh my gosh, look at all these. I'm just trying to figure out what you should actually keep inside. Like, I don't think any of this goes bad if you have it outside. So you could also have just a big storage platform on the outside of your, you know, just outside. I don't think it matters. But a good way to sort this out now would have been to make all this into just one giant storage room with like storage bins lining, you know, rows of storage bins. But all the tanks outside, well, it doesn't even matter if the tanks are inside, does it? Inside or out. But they do have health, this is what I keep seeing. I'm assuming creatures could attack it, but they just don't. This guy's come outside. So that going. So yeah, they do they do use it outside. Yeah, that's the only bad thing is that if you have everything outside, they have to go through an airlock. And the airlock takes a bit of time to get through because they have to open the door, go in, get changed, open to the outside. You know what I mean? Like it's it's an extra extra delay. Whereas if it was all inside, it would just be one continuous motion. But then again, if you speed up time, is it really slowing it down by much? Okay. I'll have to have a mess with it. Anyway, I'm going to call the stream here. It's been going for a good while, so I'm going to go ahead and take a break and eventually go to bed. So thank you to everyone here who's hung out today and chilled while I've been watching uh, playing Starmancer. The game is a lot of fun. I do recommend people check it out. Wait, how did he get over here? <laughs> I think one of my guys was infected and died. Maybe. But uh, yeah, I might be back tomorrow. We'll see. I, I got things going on in real life at the moment. So it's like hit and miss if I'm ever online or not. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed the stream. Make sure you follow and all that good stuff. And I'll be able to notify you when I'm streaming next. Thank you for those that follow today and subscribed. I appreciate that. Anyway, that's it for the night. Until next time, take care, everyone. <laughs>